Let's queer up health. Queer Eyes Karamo Brown speaks <laughs> helps speaks on mental health at Elmhurst University. As the culture expert on Netflix hit Queer Eye and host of nationally syndicated talk show, Karamo Brown is known for the ease with which he relates to other people, helping them to discover strength in their identities. Drawing from his own experiences and work in social services, Karamo will talk about the mental health journey, especially for young people, during, quote, Mental Health Matters, a conversation with Karamo, end quote. That is the topic for this year's Roland Quest Lecture at Elmhurst University. NBC Chicago medical and health reporter Lauren Petty will serve as the moderator for the event to be held on Tuesday, November 14th at 7 p.m. An Emmy-nominated host on Queer Eye, Karamo has also <laughs> has his own podcast named Karamo, where common people receive advice <laughs> or share their feelings on some of life's thorniest issues. He has also published his memoir, Karamo, my story of embracing purpose, healing, and hope, exploring how he, uh, exploring the challenges in his own life, have allowed him to transform the lives of those in need. Karamo is the recent recipient of the 2018, not recent, uh, Human Rights Campaign Visibility Award, and he meets with members of Congress on policy and legislation supporting LGBTQ youth and their allies on both sides of the aisle. How many times did I say Karamo eight. exactly? That's, there were eight, just, eight times in that. I, I was one missing. my mind. I'm going to go for Halloween. I'm going to go as Karamo. I could say that. Is, that yeah. is... Yeah, I don't think that's a good that's idea. That's not a brilliant idea. I, 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 I would Yeah, that's tricky. I, I, I probably advised. wouldn't. Why? But stick with Bert. Yeah, I think you're good with Bert, Bobby. Because I'm not bald? Because you're not on Queer Eye. And you also want to keep your job. So... I don't get paid for any of my Um I love Karamo. And I love Queer Eye and what it's become, right? It used to be just like, you know, boys came and they made a straight boy, you know, look better and they fixed his house and they taught him how to cook. Now, they go to anybody. They'll go, you know, they'll... They'll show the life of a trans person, or it'll be a gay person, or it'll be a straight person, or an ally, or whatever it or is. Or a common person, yeah. or, apparently. You know, or, <laughs> but, you know, but Karamo always comes with the mental health side of yeah, it, right. the mental Which well-being, the spiritual side, right? The inner child kind of help work, you know? Like, he brings that to the table, and that, and that, there's still a stigma around all of that, you know, in our community. So I think he's just such a, per, a, a perfect person to speak on this. He's got a wonderful platform from which to do it, or as... You just said multiple platforms, but that's fantastic. And we, we laugh a little bit because there was so much, but it's great that there's so much because he's talking about this on his podcast, his show, all of that. And, you know, um, we don't talk about mental health. We, I, I, we need to, mental health is health. Yeah. Let's right. just say that right away. Absolutely. Mental health is health. Faye, why am I not going to Greece next week? Because I can't. Because you're so anxious that you can't. I am too anxious, anxiety, and Not it's a real health. thing. Yeah. And, you know, so the fact that he's out here and he's talking about queer mental health specifically, mm -hmm. we face our own problems. We face our own set of Absolutely. issues. And he speaks to it from a point, a uh, point of view that we can all relate to. Yeah. And I, sure. I think it's also important for the LGBT community if you are seeking out mental health services that you find an appropriate place to receive those services and make sure that who, whatever counselor or therapist or organization is sensitive to the differences that we as LGBT people deal with, experience deal with. day by day. Yeah. And uh, I think that given his profile, I think it's super, super important that he's out there talking about it because I think a lot of people in the queer community don't seek help for fear that whoever they're going to see is not going to see them or hear them as they are. Yeah. So by him speaking out and, you know, making sure that people go to folks that are going to see them and hear them um no and yeah. it's and and, I, and and last last point that I'll make about Karamo is I you know I think it's even more important for a a man of color to be speaking right. at one of these events because as a brown girl myself if I'm sitting in the audience and I'm looking at someone of color saying I've got mental health issues and I am willing to talk about it and seek help I will be more thought, you know, th thinking of going to find help on my own. If right. it was just a white cisgender man, I probably wouldn't pay so much attention. So right. kudos. And yeah. if you are in South Florida and you do need to speak to somebody, SunServe was founded for our community's mental health. So you can go directly to them at sunserve.org and see what they can do to help you 
help yourself. And if you're in Miami, yeah. you can visit Jewish Community Services, who serves far more than the Jewish community. And we have specialized counselors and therapists for all ages.